So, hello again in this another exciting Unity with Playmaker tutorial and this is the second uh, episode in the Shmoop or Shooter Map series. I'm going to show you how to create a world moving system and also create the backgrounds uh, for illustrating that the ships are moving. So basically what we are trying to do is to attach the ship and the cameras together and make them uh, move forwards together so we can see the landscape are scrolling as we go through the scene. Let's do this. First thing, we are going to create an empty and basically this is our world. We are going to attach our ship and our camera to this object and we are we are going to move this object. Let's reset the transform of our empty game object all to zero. And I'm going to rename this object to world moving system for clarity's sake. So let's make the sci-fi fighter AK-5 to be the child object of the world moving system by dragging uh, on the hierarchy. Also make the main camera uh, as a child of world moving system. Then we are going to create a new FSM for our world moving system. Click on the action browser to add new state and choose translate action for the state. So here we don't need to add rigid body to our world moving system because we are going only to use a translate and translate doesn't need a rigid body because translate is basically just modifying the transform of this object. So now set the space under translate to world and we are going to use a fixed value uh, for the z axis uh, maybe 10 would be enough don't forget also to check uh, late update so we can test it right now but we cannot see the difference because we don't have any background at all okay so let's browse on the asset store and i have found this uh, free rocks uh, by triple brick uh, so if you haven't downloaded just download it and then import to your projects after you import this, there will be a new folder in your project called Free Rocks, and inside of that folder, uh, there is going to be a prefabs folder. So there is all the rocks prefabs that you can use on your scene. I'm going to use the cliff, and then I'm going to drag this to our hierarchy. I'm going to drag another rocks into our hierarchy. Uh, there goes our rocks, but I think this one is too small, so I'm going just to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to readjust the position of this rock here. So I'm going to push it down. Just uh, move it on the y-axis around minus 20. And after that, also scale the size to around 5. Okay, now I'm just going to duplicate and reposition the other rocks. And then I'm going to fast forward this video so uh, let's try to look the movement of the ship and also the rocks so there as you can see the rock are scrolling as the ship moving towards as a side note check the get position and make sure the space set to self and for the set position also the space set to self next let's create an ocean so in order to create an ocean we'll have to add a plane select the world moving system and right click and create a plane from there Okay, and then push the plane to around minus 25 on the y-axis so it intersects with our rock island ok 
okay from the game view we can see the plane so now we should scale on the x-axis so it's cover the screen I think around 10 would be fine and also scale the z-axis around 6 I think so next we are going to create a new material for the ocean I have created materials folder before so we are going to create a new materials inside that folder I have downloaded a couple texture for the oceans, the normal map and the diffuse and I'll give the link below in the description and the texture is already a seamless uh, texture so it can be tiled perfectly and this is the diffuse texture I think it is from the Unity uh, Pro assets in, in the fourth version I think okay so first select our materials and change the albedo per, uh, image to the diffuse uh, texture we have prepared and for the normal we are going to choose the seamless normal map that we have downloaded before for the normal maps properties make sure that uh, in the inspector the texture type is already set to normal map and the wrap mode to repeat perfectly and on the secondary maps on our ocean materials we are going to set the detail albedo to that uh, water textures and the normal map uh, also to that same normal map so let's apply this material to our model by dragging it to the model on the scene let's also rename our plane to ocean for tidiness sake next let's adjust the tiling on our materials for the x-axis is 4 and for the y-axis is 2 and for the secondary maps I have found the value for the x-axis is 6 and for the y-axis is 4 also don't forget change the rendering mode to transparent also change the albedo color value and for the alpha value to around 120 Now we are going to create a new FSM on the oceans object and this FSM is for animating the ocean texture. Also rename the FSM to ocean animated. Okay. The first action that we are going to use is get position. We are going to get our world moving system position and store it the Z uh, value to a new variable. Name the variable world Z pause. Make sure the space is world and make sure every frame is checked. Next, add set texture offset and make sure the name texture is uh, underscore main text because that is the uh, our main maps uh, scripting name. And then we are going to apply the world z pause variable to our uh, y offset. There's one problem though, if we try this, the ocean will move too fast and the direction is wrong. Okay, to fix this, we need to multiply our uh, variable to, uh, with a minus value so it will invert the value. And we are going to do that by adding a float multiply. Make sure the float multiply is between our get position and set texture offset. And then set world z post as the float variable and multiply by a minus value. For this example, I'm going to try to use a minus 0 0.2 because our movement is too fast by default. So I'm going to multiply with a smaller number or minus 0 0.1. Let's try this. As you can see, we have fixed the direction, but somehow it's still too fast. 
let's change the float multiply value to a very small number maybe around minus 0 0.02 and yes this is a lot better than before so now we are going to animate the secondary maps and we are going to need to create another set texture offset on the ocean animated texture FSM and we are going to offset this uh, secondary maps value over here and in order to access our secondary maps we can change the inspector here to debug and if we scroll down we can see that the name of our secondary maps is underscore detail albedo map and we can confirm it by opening the second element and see our scale values let's copy the name and then I'm going to turn back the inspector to normal and paste the value that we copy to the secondary set texture offset name texture and then we are going to duplicate the float multiply drag the float multiply down and then multiply it with a bigger number so what this actually is doing is we create a different speed for the secondary uh, set texture offset and that way it will create a different illusion between the first map and the secondary map so it will add dynamic movement to the ocean and I'm going to change our normal map to a smaller value maybe 0 0.5 and for the normal map in the secondary maps uh, change it to 0 0.3 let's try this and as you can see that the ocean is have a different layer of parallax and this adds more depth so now in order to create the level we need to create new rocks and I'm going to just copy and scale and fast forward these videos in the process of making the level Let's try this and as you can see we have a really nice uh, scrolling screen with 3D uh, levels. I think I'm going to remove this rock. Okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really recommend you to buy Playmaker if you want to create games without writing any single line of code. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe and stay tuned for another series. Thanks for watching.